What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a good week. Uh, check out my website at legendary.vision. You can follow me on Twitter at Legendary Energy. Follow me on Instagram at Dream Rare. And check out on my page to donate to my news analysis and coverage. I'm here today live at Trump Tower in Manhattan. Just happened to be in the area. There's a heavy police force here, and there is a big DACA, DACA protest because of uh, the recent news of Trump and Sessions and the administration. So, to be quite honest, I don't have a big stance on it. I'm not that familiar with it. I know that the news is very dishonest and they put everything in one light. So I'm going to walk over to the protesters and I'm going to ask some questions because I want to know what they think about DACA. I want to know what they think about border security. And since they're so frustrated, I want to see what solutions that they have. So just going to show you real quick. Right at the tower right there. I'm gonna head over to the protest and see what they're talking about. Let's get some good perspective. You know, I like to hear all sides. Can I just head over there? Thank you. That dude's texting on the job. You never text. You're not supposed to text on the job. I'm trying to get some opinions. I'm just doing a live stream. Would you like to talk or no? Say the, no? Okay. I'm doing a live stream. Would you like to talk, say a little piece about, would you like to say a little piece? I'm doing a live stream about what you think about DACA and do you want to, yeah. So what do you think about uh, today's uh, ruling on the DACA? Uh, okay, so uh, I'm personally affected by it because I am a DACA recipient, so I'm obviously upset and I'm angry. Uh, I'm also worried, but uh, I'm not going to let all of those emotions, you know, like cripple me. I know that the only way that we're going to um, get any of our rights um, respected is to stand up like we are today, raise our voice and let them know that we're not going to go down without a fight. We're going to um, speak up, we're going to protect our rights because DACA is something that we had to fight for from the beginning. Okay, so you're under that? That's your... Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it directly affects you. Right, yes. Okay. All right, do you have anything else about... What do you think about, I want to say, like border security, you know, he says build a wall. People say, what do you think is the proper thing to do for undocumented or documented illegals here? And what do you think is the right solution since... I think um, we definitely need immigration reform, comprehensive immigration reform. If they're worried about um, illegal immigration, then they should definitely do something to make it that so that it's easier to be uh, an immigrant here and travel here. Because I know that he wants to put up his, his whole um, agenda of who can come here. The only people who can speak English. That's absolutely ridiculous. Do you think it's tough now to get a legal citizenship? As it's far absolutely as from tough. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I know that a lot of people try to come here the proper way, but sometimes when you're in a certain situation, it's either you leave your country or you die there, you know, you don't have food, you don't have shelter. A, a lot of us don't have that option. You know? uh, thank you for your opinion. Thank All you. Right. God bless. Let's, let's see who... Uh, we're going to get some, some opinions. Let's see who else. I'm going to go a little deeper in the... Okay, thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm doing a live stream. Would you like to say a little piece about 
what you're doing here and no okay got the how about the the pan thing what does that mean I'm just curious what's the pan oh every okay every spoon is absurd no spoon is superior let me get never stop howling what does that mean here. Okay, fair. Just a spoon. I, I like that. I can respect that. Uh, I'm doing a live stream. Would you like to say a little a little piece about? No. Okay, You're supposed to be at work. Okay, we don't want to. Would you like to say a little piece? Okay, thank you. Does anybody want to say something on live stream about you know any any points or? Guys, I'm doing a, a Facebook live stream. Does anybody want to anybody wanna make a statement? No, just my own page. I just do independent news analysis. So I'm just trying to get everyone's opinions, everyone's perspective. So do you want to say a little piece? What's your page? Anomaly. A-N-0-M-A-L-Y. You good? Oh, it's independent, yeah. Thank you. It's no affiliation, no political. It's just I just try to break through the, the mainstream media narrative and get stuff like this, really. Just hear everyone's perspective. Got you. Yeah, oh, am I, am I in the way? Sorry. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out and see if we can get some good. How you guys doing? Would anybody like to say a little piece? I'm just doing a live stream to Facebook, just trying to get some opinions, what you think about it, and you wanna? Uh, sure. Yeah, okay, hello. Um, hey, my name uh, is Kenya. So why are you here, and what do you think about everything? I'm, I know. mean, I'm here because like I'm affected by DACA, and so it's my whole undocumented community. It's 11 million, million of us, you know? So all I wanna say is that we're gonna be all right. I know right now it feels uncertain, and it feels like, it's another stab in the heart, but we were ready for this, and I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to make ways, and we say it by everyone that's here, everyone that's ready to protect everyone, and people are going to continue to fight for justice, so we're going to be good. All right, thank you. Okay, this is the plan, okay? So, repeat after me. This is the plan. This is the plan. Everyone pay attention. Everyone keep your eyes open. Everyone keep your eyes open. Everyone keep your ears open. We have a team of over 30 marshals. Most of them are wearing vests. We are getting ready. What's going on, brother? I'm doing a live stream, just getting everybody's perspective. Would you like to say a little piece? Anything you want? No, no strings attached. No. What's your, uh, what's the flag mean? Or, let's see. Just getting a little bit of... Cosecha. Cosecha, yeah? I'm just holding the flag. Someone handed it to me. It's like a grassroots organization. Got gotcha. you. Did anyone tell you this? Or? No, no. I just I just saw the flag, yeah. Okay. Um, if you talk to people more that way, I'm sure people who are more involved in the All movement... Right. Thank you, bro.
can I ask a few questions or do you mind? Alright. No human being. It's legal. And doctor. Let's get this let's get some signs. Brother, I'm doing a live stream. Do you want to say a, little, a few things or anything like what you think about today? What do you think the solution is? Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you, brother. I, I respect that. Have a good day. God bless. Alright, so I'm going to start getting some more perspectives. It's a little loud over here. I'm going to get where it's quiet. Um, so, I'd love to get the other side as well, but they said there's, I think, she said 11 million undocumented in the U.S. Um, you know, a lot of good people here. It's nice to hear all sides, so we're going to go back in there real quick and get some more perspective here. This. Hey, what's up? I'm doing a live stream. Do you guys, do you guys mind if I ask a few questions about the sign? What's your it's anomaly. I'm independent news analysis. I uh, just, I just do my own. I want to get right to the, right to the core of things. Like I, you know, I don't like to to hear what the media says. I want to hear straight from the core. So, do, can I ask one question? Can I just say why do you think that Trump and Pence are fascist? Do you mind if I ask her? Because it's an aggressive sign. I'm just curious. Like, what what makes them fascist? What's that? All right. All right. Thank you. They gave me their statement, so... Here. A nightmare, a nightmare, a nightmare. Man. So they gave me their statement. They had a Trump and Pence's fascist uh, sign. Like I always say, I didn't even vote for Trump and Pence, but I think the, you know, fascist Nazi uh, rhetoric is a little bit aggressive, and especially with a big sign like that right in front of Trump Towers, it's aggressive. I would have loved to talk to them about why they think he's fascist, uh, but, you know, we'll move on to the next. Hi. Right. Do you, uh, do you guys want to say a little piece? I'm just live streaming. Whatever you want. I'm trying to just get to the to the core, you know? You good? Nah, thank you. You mind if I get the hat or no? All right. Bang. I got some good. Bang. Resistance is... What does it say? Fertile. All right. Thank you, brother. God bless. Appreciate you. Some... NYPD holding it down. All right. What's going on, brother? Do you wanna? I'm on a live stream. Do you wanna say a little bit about what's going on, or nah? 
It's up to you, yeah. No worries, no pressure. Have a good one. You know, we don't force it on people here. We're not we're not rude, we're very polite, we're very respectful. I try to get to the to the core, you know, I'm not trying to frame people, I'm not trying to make people look bad or good. I just want people to be themselves, you know? Uh, that's what I'm about. Let's see. It's moving really fast, hold on. Can I get that shirt? I just, just a shirt, I won't get you. That's a shirt we can all agree with. McKinney's Tabasco sauce. It's good stuff, it's good, it's good hot sauce. I would say it's in my top three, so it's a shirt we can all agree on, I think, here. I wanna know what they think is so fascist. I wanna... The chant is no KKK, no fascist USA. Oh, so I just want to get. You mind if I get the sign on the just the live stream? I just want to see. Do you mind if we can I get a few questions or no? Okay. Destroy ICE, destroy the police. These are the signs you're seeing here. Uh, you know, I'm all for a good protest. Like I said, personally, to be 100% honest. I'm trying to get to the core of it now. I don't know exactly what the truth is about um, everything that's going on with the DACA, so I'm trying to get to the core of it. I don't have a clear stance, but look at this. Get the. To continue, I don't have a clear stance, but I, I think it's really aggressive that destroy the police. Um, and I understand police are corrupt for sure, but. Destroy the police, you know, KKK, Nazi, this stuff is ridiculous to me. I, I really don't understand it. I, I definitely understand the opposition. I understand uh, being passionate, but this these ties to, you know, immediately going to Nazi, KKK, and all this stuff is just so aggressive. I'm going to get back in there. I really want to get a, an answer from people because no one's really been able to answer that question, and that's my most... Uh, that's the one I really want to get because I can agree with them on a lot of things. You know, these are my brothers and sisters, but the fact that they're trying to paint everyone as a KKK, like if you don't agree with me, if your border policies or your immigration policies differ than mine, you're instantly in the KKK. I think it's a little ridiculous personally, but we'll get to the core.
What's up, brother? I'm doing a live stream. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Or? Not at all? Okay, so I know what everyone's doing here, obviously. The one thing that I'm, because I'm, you know, I'm trying to learn about it as well. Yeah. Do you think, like, you know, we got, you see the sign, America. Like, there's a lot of fascism, KKK signs. Do you think it's a little bit of a stretch, or you think it's 100% justified? Do you think it's out of control? The KKK and... Just, yeah, going from, you know, border security, the, the DICA, which clearly everyone here is opposed to, to them saying, you know, it's America's now the KKK, uh, Trump is a fascist. Do you think that's a stretch, or do you think it's justified? And then why so? Just... Um, a label is very easy to put on, Totally. But it's also very easy to avoid. Totally. When an administration continues to do things that prosecutes people, that keeps unlabeling people as other, that keeps destroying human dignity, and that says that certain people are above others, it follows the things and the beliefs of those groups. Do you think, because, you know, I'm a little bit on the fence, I didn't vote for him, but I do think a lot of the backlash, to be honest, is a little, like, when it comes to border security or the travel ban, I don't know the right answer, uh, but it seems like instead of having a discussion, everyone jumps right to that, where every country has some, oh, okay. every country has some sort of security, and, you know, as far as, it, it's a controversial subject, but do you think that a rational discussion is had, or do you think that it's just gone too far? It's gone too far. History is a good example. First, you label people as others. Totally. And then when you label people as others, you take totally. away their rights. Totally. And then from there, you begin to get rid of them. What do you think about, because I, I supported Bernie Sanders, and now I'm just kind of in the fence. I see them labeling all conservatives as neo-Nazis and white supremacists like here. And then they're even grouping in a lot of progressives who support Bernie Sanders or Jill Stein. Some people see that Trump's doing that, and then a lot of people think that it's going the other way. What do you think about that? Do you think one is right and wrong, or you think it's just perspective? Uh, there's no such thing as right and wrong in these situations. There are things and ideas that we're fighting and that we keep on fighting. Mm. One person may say that I am pro this, I am against that. Yeah. But what talks at the end of the day is the policies that they pursue and the things that they try to create. And in terms of what is wrong, persecuting people, no matter who the hell they are. Totally. And that's why I said it's easy to put a label on somebody than to actually work and hash out the details of things. Okay. And that's what we need to get doing. All right. Thank you for your time, yeah, brother. Totally. God bless. Okay. Um, so, it's a good little talk there because, you know, I do see... I'm going to get away from the noise real quick. From both sides, I see the, you know, that group there believes they're being persecuted and grouped in, but, you know, coming from a side where I'm just trying to get a fair, balanced analysis going, I see the exact same with people like me, news analysts, uh, progressives, conservatives. I feel like they're being grouped together as well. Um, and it's a very strange uh, place that we're at in America right now where seemingly half the country feels like conservatives and Donald Trump are Nazis and then half the country feels like the people like them are the real Nazis uh, that are being manipulated and brainwashed into not being able to have a discussion. Um, thought it was cool today. I respect everybody that talked to me. You know, I don't like to frame people or make them look negative. I like to have a real discussion. Uh, it was good stuff. So let me know in the comment section. I already seen you guys commenting. I'm going to take a break now. Uh, just wanted to get in there and see what's going on. Hopefully I can meet up with some of those people and have a real discussion and maybe, you know, we can see each other's sides and stop, um, I guess, the division and the hate. Uh, thank you guys for joining. I'm going to post my link below if you'd like to donate to my news analysis and, you know, maybe I'll get out there later this week and do some other stuff. All right. Thank you guys. Have a good day.